and welcome to Crystal's Kitchen. Today on the show we have Myra and Jesse. Jesse. So today we are going to be making amazing tiramisu. Recipe by Myra because she makes tiramisu. Hello everyone. Uh, this will be my fourth time of making tiramisu and um, it's not as complicated as it sounds. Tiramisu sounds fancy but it's really easy. So this will let you know that Myra actually made tiramisu for me when I just had Jessie and I came out of the hospital and she surprised me with some tiramisu and you know what I loved it so I keep asking for it so now we're going to make it. Yay! We look Yay. forward to having fun together. Great. So in the description below, you can see the list of ingredients that you can prepare. This will be an overnight uh, process where the tiramisu actually has to sit in the fridge for a while, so you can't just eat it right after. So be prepared for that. Um, but we're going to get started. Yeah. The reason why it needs to stay in the fridge is because mm -hmm. um, the the little lady fingers are quite firm and with it resting in the fridge it goes softer and much easier to slice otherwise it's just crunch 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 when you slice it okay nice yes. so let's get started yes what are we gonna do first we are going to whip the cream and add the sugar okay so we're going to use one carton so it's 473 milliliters so just one of these cartons do you want to pour it in yeah yeah okay awesome I'll pour it in the whole thing Good job! Yay, Jesse! <laughs> You're so good, Jesse. Okay, what's next? We need to add half a cup of sugar. Do you want to put half a cup of sugar? Yeah. Okay, get all the way in. 125 mils is half a cup. Okay. Ready? You got it? And go. Yay! <laughs> oh, you're such a good pourer. Okay. Okay, Get away. let's do it. We're going to beat the cream until it's stiff peaks. <laughs> Don't overbeat it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Okay. All right, doing great. Good job. We are finishing up. Uh, it's all stiff peaks now. If you have a look, it's stiff peaks. We are ready to put it in the fridge and leave it until we have whipped up our mascarpone. Okay, so everyone put your uh, mixture into the fridge and we'll get back. Next thing we're going to do <laughs> is we're going to crush one pack, uh, which is 100 grams of your um, lady fingers. Your, the packaging comes with four mm -hmm. and it's in this packaging of the lady fingers. Let me turn it around. Or whatever you find at the store, obviously. But this is the this idea is of what you're getting. Yes. And we're going to crush one pack only in this Ooh. bowl. Do you want to crush them? Yes. Okay. That's going to be lots of fun. Okay, so you can use a potato masher or whatever you got to mash. And you're going to just go like this. Do you want to do that? Yes. Okay, hold it. Hold it with two hands. Ready? Oh. Let me hold the bowl. So okay, say, here we go. I'm holding the bowl. Oh, this is kind of hard. Yes, it is. You <laughs> can do it. We're trying to crush these, and uh, I usually... we're getting there. So we're going to work on that. You guys work on it as well. We'll come right back. <laughs> okay, great. So we crushed up our lady fingers. So if you can see, did I see that? It's so bright on that thing. Okay, anyways, it's crushed. So. You can use a food processor to make that go faster, that process, if you want. If you don't feel like crushing it away to get into, um, let me just show you guys. It's like fine. See that? So it's like crummy. It's like that. Nice. Perfect. Good. So that's that part. Now, Myra, what are we going to do next? We are going to crack uh, five eggs and keep only the yolks of five eggs in a bowl and we're using one whole egg as well so that makes six eggs okay good can you show us how you do how you separate an egg sure okay let's do this there are two methods you can either use the shells of the eggs and pouring into each other or you can just use your fingers and let the the eggs come through your fingers which Those one do you like doing? <laughs> I'm going to do the eggs through the fingers today oh. I usually do the shells but I'm going to do the eggs through the fingers I which I do the shells so do it. Okay, let's watch my okay. do it. Ready? So. Okay. Oh, 
Okay. There we go. Can you please bring that bowl closer? Yeah, to me? of course. Here's okay. so the eggshells. Excuse me, Jesse. Okay, Sorry. this is a process. <laughs> okay, so we're getting the egg whites in there. Perfect. Isn't that awesome, Jesse? See what they're doing? Yes. Great. So we have separated our eggs. Uh, there's our egg whites and our egg yolks. Myra, what do we have in here? We have five egg yolks, one whole egg, which makes six mm -hmm. eggs in total. Thank we you. have the uh, whites that we have separated from the egg yolks and put them into a dish. What you can do, yeah. instead of throwing them away, you can use mm -hmm. your egg whites and you can either freeze them mm -hmm. and put them in a little Ziploc bag and freeze it for when you make a meringue or you make an egg white omelette. Don't mm -hmm. throw them away, you can use them later. Great tip, awesome. So, what's next, Myra? We yeah. are going to, we've got in our big bowl, all our eggs, we're going to add one cup of mascarpone um i like the Tristella brand of mascarpone the whole tub will go inside and we will have um vanilla extract vanilla extract how awesome. many milliliters crystal i don't know myra let's find out let's see it's two teaspoons of vanilla extract oh, okay so jesse do you want to put that in yes okay you know hold it and oh, well, i'm gonna pour it you hold the spoon all right okay you can pour at the same time there we go okay one and Say two. Two. Good job. And now, Jessie, can you help oh. me empty this whole tub of mascarpone into this big bowl? That's going to be fun, huh? Okay. okay. Do you want to Ready? use a spatula, Jessie? Okay. Right. Watch. Hold on with you. Ready? You're going to just plop it in there. Look. That was a special trick. All done. Is it in there? Okay. Okay, let's uh, mix. Okay. You want to help mix? Now we are going to. Okay. Beat this up. Oh, hold on, hold on. Let's just. We have to use the mixer. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we're going to mix this up. Okay, hold on. Now we're done. Okay. Okay, so we're going to mix our mixture together until everything is blended. Okay, so Myra, you have mixed our uh, mixture there, and now please okay. take out your um, whipped mixture from the fridge. And your crushed uh, um, ladyfinger cookies. We are going to add, yeah. Jessie will add for us our ladyfinger cookies okay, you pour into it in? the mixture. Pour it in, Jessie. Pour, pour, pour. Good job. Yay. And we are going to add the cream into that as well. Okay. So this, we're going to need the spatula for. Okay, I will hold it. Okay, ready? One more minute. And JC can scoop it. Okay, ready? One more minute. All right. Awesome. Good teamwork. See, this is awesome to encourage your kids to come and join you guys in your kitchen. It's a great experience for them to learn about cooking and baking. Okay, perfect. Did all what we can get. Okay, got it. Okay. Excellent. And then we're going to mix. Again. Next we're going to mix. do is we're going to mix all of these ingredients okay. together until it's nice and fluffy. Okay. Mixing. Okay. The mixing is done. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Oh, that's so good. Okay. I would make tiramisu every day. It's just to like one of these. <laughs> okay, we'll continue on. Okay, Myra, what's next? Crystal, we are going to dissolve uh, two rounded tablespoons <laughs> of Nescafe, the Colombian <laughs> instant coffee, with so, boiling water into a dish. Okay, so just as a tip, uh, you don't have to use Nescafe if you don't want to. It's just Myra's chosen. But if you want a different type of flavor of coffee, so you're a coffee person, you choose whichever one you want. Is that correct? That's correct. Yeah. Some people prefer using alcohol liqueurs like Amaretto. And we, because we have children, we prefer not to. <laughs> okay, so if you want the adult version, you can go and do that if you want. Otherwise, boil your water, please. 
uh, we have already, and we're going to add in two heaping spoonfuls. And we have this container because we're going to submerge our lean fingers into the container dish. Okay, great. So we're going to get the uh, hot water. Okay, and we're going to do two cups. I'm going to start with two cups because sometimes you can never estimate how much boiling water you're using when you're dipping your lady fingers inside. Good point. Okay. You just get a little mix around in there. It's pretty dissolved. Yeah. <laughs> That's looking good. Okay. So we got a little mixture there. Great. Okay. Jesse has come back <laughs> to join us. If you notice, he kind of vanished for a second and he was going to play for a second, but he's back. Yay. So our coffee has cooled down a bit. Make sure you make sure it's cooled down. And um, we're going to make two um, containers of it because Myra's going to take some home and I'll have some here. Okay, just wait one second. Okay. And um, so you can do one bigger dish um, to make your tiramisu in, um, but this is for now, this is what we're doing. Okay, Myra, so show us the process. What do we need to do? Okay. You want some chocolate? Here? We're going to take oh. each lady finger. And if you look at your lady finger, you have a sugary side and you have a non-sugary side. Ooh, that's important. You're going to take your lady finger and dip the sugary side down into your coffee. Not the entire cookie, yeah. uh, the entire thing. It's just the surface mm -hmm. is being dipped. And then you're going to layer mm -hmm. all the way along, in whichever sequence you like, in your dish. Okay. You're going to flip it over and make sure the dry side is face down, mm. the wet side face up. Okay. So we're going to continue to dip and put. Okay, great. Okay, so <laughs> we have put our lady fingers down. Jesse has gone to go play. So, <laughs> um, Myra, what are we going to do? We're going to take the uh, mixture here. We're going to take From our here. fluffy mixture we made earlier with the mascarpone, the whipped cream, oh. and... We are going to <laughs> I just dropped on the layer it over the top of the lady fingers. <laughs> okay. Without messing it everywhere. <laughs> My bad. That's okay, it's all good. You can <laughs> spatula it off here. Yeah. Off the chocolate. Okay. <laughs> I'm not usually clumsy. Anyways. Okay, we're doing good. So we're layering. So please layer. Yeah, just I'm, I'm there, Yeah, I'm, I'm just there. saying don't do too much, just gotta go for bulbs. Oh and, and my a second bad. layer. And so. a second layer. Okay, so and we're gonna do layer. so just okay. spread it, that's spread. that's sufficient. Okay. And then this one. That's okay. Fine. That's nice. More than enough. Yeah. Let's switch to the sides. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> 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 me. Crystal wants to eat a tiramisu really soon. <laughs> Listen, it's a little bit unlikely here. Okay, so you can see we are making the layers. Okay, Myra, what's next? What do we put after this? I'm going to do a little blob in this corner here. Okay, what do we do after this, Myra? After this, we are going to take some cocoa powder, and you can just dust it. If you have a sieve, you can dust it with uh, the surface of the, the fluffy mixture with the cocoa powder. And once you've dusted it, then you're going to grate a little bit of chocolate on top. Whee! Sprinkling! Sprinkle! And then I can grate a little bit of chocolate. Okay, do you see that? Okay, you can see that. Okay, grating chocolate. So have a grater. Um, we're just using um, the dark, no, no, it's not even dark, semi sweet chocolate um, here. So whatever chocolate you feel like you want to add, go right ahead. Okay, that looks awesome. Great, Myra, great. <laughs> Well, thanks, Crystal. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. What's after the chocolate? It's a more ladyfinger mm -hmm. dipping in the coffee. And we okay. put do the same sequence with the sugar dipped down and the dry okay. side face uh, lying on the surface. Okay, great. So let's all go back and do the next layer. Okay. Okay, let's finish this up. So we're going to, we put the ladyfingers for our other layer and our mixture. And we're going to sprinkle, sprinkle on our sprinkle, sprinkle. cocoa powder. You can put a little nice. more cocoa powder, and then we're going to grate some chocolate Ooh. on the top that of it. That was a lot. <laughs> okay. Right. Grate, or should I grate? You go ahead. Okay. Because I had all this chocolate on. Nothing wrong with that. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 
when this is done, what happens, Mara? Then we um, can put it, if you're, if you're able to put cling wrap over it, if it's not too high, you can cling wrap it and put it in the refrigerator <laughs> overnight and it will should be ready by the time you have your meal the next day. Okay, so that looks great. And don't forget to have it with a nice drink on the side, a cup of tea, coffee, whatever you prefer. Enjoy. Yay. And uh, this looks great, guys. Look at this. Awesome. It looks amazing. So I just want to thank Myra. Thank you so much, Myra. You're welcome, my, my friend. awesome friend, You're for welcome. sharing your amazing tiramisu recipe. I look forward to trying it out tomorrow morning. Well, afternoon maybe. We'll see if we want to eat it breakfast. <laughs> Full lunch and, and supper. Um, so thank you for coming back on the show. And I know Myra will definitely be back to do more. And uh, so please subscribe. Feel free to share the link, like us, follow us. Uh, comment, anything you want to share with us. Uh, we love hearing from you guys. Thanks. You guys are awesome. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Bye. See you Bye. Okay, so our tiramisu is all done. Take a look. It looks amazing. Good job, guys. So we're about to eat our tiramisu. Let's take a look. Is that tiramisu? <laughs> yes. Can I, you can, want I, some? can I have some? Okay, so we're going to get Graham, my husband, to come and try some tiramisu. Can you tell us how it tastes? Mm. How is it? Oh, it's perfect. It's perfect. Okay, I'm gonna try some. Mm. Mm. Good. Myra, thank you so much for sharing this recipe. I'm sure you're enjoying yours at home as well. This is amazing. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Thanks guys, bye. Bye.